Ru and Amen. Your brother and servant, Ras Michael Ra'a. First, directing all our honor and praise unto the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For the Lord our God is one. For we honor, revere, glorify, and worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who have been revealed to us in complete core quality, a perfect power of the Holy Trinity, for biblical and prophetic revelation upon the throne of King David, as we boldly and proudly proclaim that the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Moa and Bessa, the Eminem of Yehuda, has prevailed to conquer revelation and loose the seven seals thereof, for which we are witnessing the fall of Babylon and the end of the Gentile world system. So we give thanks and praise unto Abijah, who has blessed us with salvation by he who was born of a virgin, he who was baptized, he who was crucified, he who died, he who resurrected on the third day, he who ascended to the right hand of the Heavenly Father, and he who has revealed his glory, now share with the Father, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be now and forevermore, a world without end, revealed in the new name of his Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. So we give thanks and praise for his eternal grace, which he has blessed us with. This eternal grace is God's provision in life, given so that we may live out his purpose. God's purpose is his plan according to his will, to put us into Christ, to make us one with him, to share his life and position that we may be his testimony. God's grace was given to us in eternity, but it was manifest and applied to us through our Lord's first coming in which he nullified death and brought life to us. That life and full salvation was manifest and applied through Haile Selassie I, Germawi, Kedemawi Haile Selassie. The eternal life of God, which is given to all, all believers in Christ. Brothers and sisters, Windemoch, Ehetoch. Let's turn to 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 16, which reads, Howbeit for this cause I obtain mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth a long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. And this is our life everlasting revealed through in our divine grace. This life has conquered death and will swallow up death. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 4. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Yes, I, mortality swallowed up by life from the top of our heads unto the soles of our feet. May we be swallowed up by life. May we be filled with running rivers of water that bubble up from within us as we have drunk of that everlasting water and have ourselves become one with that water. We being in that water, that water being in us, giving thanks and praise. It was according to the promise of such life even such life as witnessed in his imperial majesty and pride as the last first. God gave us eternal life, the resurrection life, through his son, Giatach and Jesus Christo, who revealed himself the second time apart from sin for our salvation in full, giving us the gift of full salvation, of the total co-equality our spirit, our soul, and our body, which in the revelation and full salvation are one, co-equally united, as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equally united in heaven. 